two Long Islanders are turning a family recipe into a million dollar business. All right, Judy Goldberg shows us how they're making Greek yogurt the old fashioned way in tonight's Made on Long Island. How'd you come up with the name? So, Nunos means godfather in Greek. My partner is my godfather. When they couldn't find traditional Greek yogurt in America, Stephen Ayanu and John Balesis decided to make their own using their family's recipe. The two founded Nunos Creamery. When we would come back from our, our summer trips to Greece and we would come back to New York, it was impossible. <laughs> So we used to have to make it in our kitchen. We would have to take regular yogurt and strain the water off. And it was never the same, but it was the closest thing that we could find to what we had in Greece. And that's what you're trying to replicate. Yeah. Since 2014, they've been manufacturing out of this 5,000 square foot factory in West Babylon. Their staff, 10 hardworking people. We are operating seven days a week. We operate uh, four to five double shifts. So if you were to stretch that out. We're really producing yogurt 12 days a week if there was, if it was possible. Each week they manufacture close to 3,000 cases of Greek yogurt. The company grew 30 percent month to month last year. Now they're in the process of expanding the facility on track to see around a million dollars in sales. Different from other brands, Nunos is handmade in small batches and packaged in glass jars. We bring the milk into our facility. We pasteurize it. We inoculate it, which means when we kill all the bad bacteria off, we add our good bacteria, our probiotics, to the milk, and we let it sit there and we let it culture. Nunos uses cheesecloth. It's an old-fashioned technique to strain the extra water and get it to that right consistency. It's a three-day process, so we need a full day to actually make yogurt. We need a full day to make yogurt into Greek yogurt, and then we need a day to package it and let the yogurt reset. Some of the flavors, coconut cream, blueberry blend, forest berries, and a fan favorite, vanilla bean. They definitely like the texture, they like the thickness, and they like the, uh, the flavor profile. It's, it's tart, it, it, it hits your, your jaw nicely. What happens over here? So this is our filling line. Uh, glass is loaded up over here. We bring it around to the first filling station, which is our, our fruit filling station. We're currently filling pumpkin spice. And then we'll go to our next filling station, which we're filling yogurt. That pumpkin. That's good. That's Thank good. You. It's very yeah. flavorful. They're on the shelves in stores, including Whole Foods and North Shore Farms. Jars start at $2.49. They're hoping to sell to stores across the country and ultimately prove that manufacturing is and will continue to stay here on Long Island. Every time we walk through the door and we hear the hustling, bustling in the factory and knowing that we started from nothing, just me and John coming in here and painting walls, laying cement down and fixing floors, and to see it actually running now, it's very overwhelming. Overwhelming in the best way possible. In West Babylon, Long Island, Jody Goldberg, Fox 5 News.